my beautiful people it's yana and i'm back today with yet another video and today's video is going to be another scary one because we're going to be exploring a topic that i personally find very scary and that's the idea of being watched while you're asleep i don't know why the thought of that just terrifies me like sleeping peacefully in my bed and some creep just watching me out of the corner of my room i do not like that at all but i did come across a video titled we found him watching her sleep and I just know this one's gonna be a really creepy one. So if you guys are as excited as I am, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. We received an email from a 19 year old girl named Charlotte. Charlotte recently moved into a new house and she's concerned that her new roommate, Derek, might be up to something. Charlotte says that Derek acts friendly most of the time, but can get a little bit creepy. And that she hears strange noises from his room at night. When Charlotte asked Derek what happened to the last roommate that lived there, Derek said that she disappeared. So Charlotte invited us to stay with her for a couple days to try to find out what's going on. So today we're gonna head out to her apartment and see what this weekend holds. I'll tell you what this weekend holds. It holds an absolute disaster. You're telling me this girl willingly moved into a house with a guy whose last roommate just disappeared? I'm starting to get a migraine because I don't understand how that makes any sense. I feel like when you're looking for roommates, a part of the criteria should be that none of their past roommates have mysteriously disappeared. I don't know, it just seems like something you should consider. Nevertheless, they're going to check out what is going on with Derek, why he's being weird, and why there's weird noises coming out of his bedroom, because that can't be good. I mean, none of this really seems good. So what's up, dude? Are you excited for this weekend? Yeah, I guess I'm pretty excited. Charlotte seemed pretty nice on the phone, and uh, I'm excited to see what this Derek guy is like. I think he's gonna be super weird. Dude, it doesn't matter if he's weird. What matters is if he's putting her in harm. They seem pretty excited to be going over to this house, and they're right. If Derek is just a little weird but completely harmless, then that's okay. However, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that Derek is probably a lunatic. Stick around to see. I don't know. We'll find out. Is this the place? Yeah, I think this is it. All right, dude, get excited. It's gonna be a fun weekend. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. My question is, why are they so excited? Like, you're going into a potentially a very scary and dangerous situation. And they look like they're going on a boys weekend. Like, the vibes are just really great for them right now. You know how it goes. Things usually take a turn eventually. All right, so this is it. This is the house. It's a yeah. pretty nice place, huh? I think so. All right, let's knock on this door. Hey, hi. Oh my gosh, hi. it's so hi. good. Hi, nice to meet you. Guys. Nice to meet you. Um, do Trust her. Wow, this is a pretty nice place. Yeah, I just moved in. Um, do you guys want to come in? Sure, yeah, thanks. Yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about this. A lot of the times in these videos, when people open the door, they seem very terrified or like standoffish. Charlotte seems to be in a great mood and she also seems very happy to see them. And they're about to spill all the tea on Derek. I can't wait to hear. Let's see what weird stuff this guy has been up to. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about the last roommate that disappeared? I actually forgot to tell you this. So when I got here, he said that she was all moved out, but all of her stuff was still here. Like literally everything, like her phone, her clothes, like everything. So can you tell us a little bit about your roommate, Derek? Shh, shh. You gotta talk quieter. What? So you said in your email that you've been hearing weird noises from his room at night. Yeah. So what do these noises sound like? Hold on. Hey guys, what's going on? Nice to meet you, Parker. Derek. Derek, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you guys. Are you guys friends with Charlie? Yeah, sort of. You're calling her Charlie, is that not Charlotte? It's a little, my little nickname for her. Okay, now I'm starting to think I was right to say this guy's probably a lunatic because why is he talking like that and moving like that and just being so bizarre? I don't like the voice that he's talking in either. There's definitely something wrong with Derek, I can tell you that. Also, she mentioned that the last roommate just disappeared but left all her stuff. We all know that is a terrible sign of her not leaving by her own free will. She would take her phone, she would take her clothes. But if this guy did something, then that stuff would still be there. Ooh. Ooh, this is getting really spooky. So, why are you guys filming this? Uh, it's just something for school. Yeah, uh, Derek, do you mind, like, giving us a little bit to talk? Not to be rude, but we're kind of, like, in conversation? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Yeah. He wanted to stick around for the conversation, and they said, Listen, man, you gotta go. He's gonna be very mad. I can already tell. 
Oh yeah, so tell me about those noises you've been hearing. Uh, I've heard yelling, some squishing noise, all kinds of things, and whenever I knock on his door to ask him what's going on, he just pretends like he doesn't know. That's pretty weird. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Uh, but he seems like a pretty friendly guy. Uh, do you think you could show us a room that we'll be staying in? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool, let's go. I'm sorry, yelling and squishing noises? Well, that sounds absolutely disgusting. Not to mention the fact that he acts like he doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, who else would be making those noises? It's not her, so it must be you. Unless the house is haunted on top of everything else. In which case, you guys have a real problem. Oh, cool. Uh, only oh, one bed. <laughs> Who's sleeping on the bed? Then right behind you is the bed. No sink. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. If you guys need anything, just let me know. Yeah, so we're just going to chill out here. Uh, when Derek leaves tonight, we're going to set up the cameras, try to capture what's going on. Uh, but we're good for now. We can just chill out and wait. Okay, great. Okay, thanks. So Charlotte set them up in a cute little room. They have a little bed. They have a little toilet. They don't have a sink. But hey, sometimes you get a sink. Sometimes you don't get a sink. That's life, my friends. It's really smart that they're waiting for Derek to leave before they set up the cameras. Because you don't want him to know that they're setting up cameras. Because obviously he's not going to be creepy if he knows he's being watched. And on the other hand, if he caught them putting the cameras out, he would probably get mad. I don't think we want to see Derek mad. I need to be on the southern facing side of the house. Dude, he's leaving now. He's leaving, are you sure? Yeah, Derek's leaving now. Okay, uh, he's leaving on the side of the cameras. Yeah. Ooh, Derek is leaving. Time to set up the cameras. I'm really curious to see what they catch him doing. They better put a camera in his room. Or is that too creepy? I'm not too sure. Okay, so one in the kitchen. We already have a camera in our room, so. Okay, so we just need to put the camera in Charlotte's room. Hey, sorry if we woke you up. Can we put a camera in your room? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we just need to put this camera in Derek's room. Yo, what's in it? Sit down on his bed. Dude, whatever. Just ignore it. Let's go. Just You're a grown ass man. Get that little doll out of your bed. I'm not a fan of that one. That's weird. Why are you still playing with dolls? Derek came home about an hour ago, so uh, he's in his room now, we think. We got all the cameras going. If we hear any weird noises during the night, we need to wake each other up. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's go to bed. Okay. All right, so the cameras are fully set up. They're going to bed and things are about to get a whole lot more interesting because we're going to get to see what Derek is really up to at night. He is fully brushing the doll's hair at 4.50 in the morning. That seems a little early for that sort of activity, don't you think? He's literally standing so close to her. How does she not notice? Charlotte girl, you better wake up now. All right, so we just woke up. It's about 6.40 in the morning. Uh, let's go check on Charlotte and uh, show her the footage. Okay. Excited to see this. Well, get excited because you're in for quite a treat because Derek's been watching Charlotte all night. Why would you even do that? I don't understand. Little does Derek know he got caught on camera. Okay, so all these cameras feed to uh, this app I have on my computer. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at this footage. Okay, so this is Chester's in my bedroom from last night. 
Here's yours. And here's Derek's. Let's keep scrolling through this footage. Did he sleep at all? Dude, he's just sitting on his bed. What's he doing? Oh, I'll keep scrolling through. Dude, look at him. He's, he's brushing that doll's hair. It looks like he did this all night. Oh, look. Uh, he's getting up. Oh my god, where's he going? He was in my room? Oh my god, what's he doing? Scrolling through this, it looks like he was just watching you for hours. I'm really freaked out, guys. I don't feel safe. I fully understand being freaked out. I would be too. You literally just found out someone watches you for hours while you sleep. That is terrifying. Do you want us to put a lock on your door? I guess. All right, so we got this lock on the door. Looks pretty good. Okay. Lock is uh, pretty good. We just sold it ourselves. Hi, guys. What's up, man? How's it going? Good morning. Um, do you want any coffee? No, I'm good, dude. No, Thanks. Toast? No, I'm no. good. Thank you. I'm okay. fine. Thanks. Okay. How'd you sleep? I slept like a baby. Like a baby? Yeah. What about you guys? How did you sleep? I slept pretty well. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna go make some coffee. Why are you so grumpy today? Derek, I know you're lying. You did not sleep like a baby. You didn't even sleep at all, which is not normal. That doesn't make any sense either. Wouldn't you want to get some sleep? Not to mention him being like, ugh, why are you so grumpy? Of course she's grumpy, dude. You're watching her while she sleeps. That seems like a fair reason to be a little grumpy. Just act normally today. We're gonna record tonight to see uh, if I have anything else. Are you guys sure you don't want any coffee? I'm good, thank you. Oh my god, he definitely realized that she put a lock on her door. And I bet he's not very happy with that. I feel like night two is gonna be a whole lot worse than night one. What if he breaks the whole door down? Then we'll know he's actually crazy. So now that he can't get into Charlotte's room, he's just going to stare at them while they're sleeping. I guess Derek will just stare at anyone who's sleeping around him. You would be no fun at sleepovers, Derek. Wake up. What's up? She's screaming, dude, let's go. Hold on, what? Let's go. Let's go. Come here. No. What are you doing? Get out. No. I'm Please. Sleeping. I'm seeing Charlotte. I'm. S Why are you coming in her room at night? Just to watch and see her. To watch what, dude? Get go. Go back to your room. Don't get in my face, dude. Dude, leave. This no. isn't your room. Get out. I like to protect her, okay? You're not protecting anyone. Just leave. You're coming in my house. Go. I need you to get out. Go. I go. don't like that you're in here. It's go. really hurting. Okay, well, she's not living here anymore. What? I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god. Dude, just get out. Let's go. Let's go. go. Let's go. He said he was watching her this entire time because he was protecting her. Protecting her from what? If anything, she needs to be protected from you. And then he got super angry at the two guys for helping her. Of course she's gonna call someone for help. <laughs> Okay, so they not only helped Charlotte escape, but they also helped her file a restraining order against this guy, which I feel is very much needed and a very good thing that they did that because you never know if this guy is gonna just keep stalking her, especially with the way he was saying he was trying to protect her. Also, they are helping her look for a new place, which is really good. She should not be living with a roommate like that. I don't think Derek should ever have a roommate ever again. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. 
subscribe. Comment down below if you would ever be roommates with Derek. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.